Hey, I'm going to walk you through from scratch how you can load all the terminology sets and reference sets that ship with the Tuva project directly to your data warehouse. Um, there's a bunch of different terminology sets and, and reference data sets that ship with the project. You can go see those by visiting the tuvaproject.com and looking at this page, terminology sets. This is a full catalog. Um, we also have some reference data sets. Um, the organization of these is going to shift around a little bit uh, in the next couple of weeks, but I'm going to, regardless, I'm going to show you how you can load everything. Um, so let's do it from scratch. So I'm going to use, I'm going to show you how can, specifically how you can load it into Snowflake, but this should work for any of the databases that we support. Uh, to start with, um, I'm going to create a new database. All right, this is where we're going to load everything. So there's nothing in here right now. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to pretend like we're doing this from scratch. I don't have a DBT project yet, um, so I'm going to create one. Um, the only things I'm not going to explain to you here are like really what DBT is or how to configure your profile.yaml. Uh, if you want to figure that out. DBT has tons of good documentation on that. So let's just start. Um, actually, let me start from scratch here. Um, hold on, where? Trash, how did that happen? Uh, uh, let's see what's here. Okay, yeah, this is what we want. All right, so let's create a new DBT project. I'm using DBT 1.3, but which is a super old version actually, but you can use anything up to the most recent version. Let's just create a new project. We'll call that Dev Aaron 2 just for fun. And then I don't even know if more recent versions of DBT do this, but they're, it's trying to get me to configure my profile here. I don't want to do this. I've already set that up separately. But let's CD into the project okay what's in there it's a dbt project yay let's go look at that so first things first when i set up my dbt project um, i'm gonna configure my profile and it's got a bunch of placeholder stuff in here but i've already i've already configured a profile again if you want to figure out how to do that you can go read about that in dbt docs and now i'm going to jump over to Tuva Docs, because they tell me how to do this in the quick start guide. And all I'm going to do is add this var. I'll say, sorry, hang on a second. We, I did skip past one important part. Okay, but we have that now. Uh, we should probably import the Tuva package into a packages.yaml. And that's up here in the prereqs. That's why I skipped it. So I'm going to copy this bad boy into here. And then I have to do dbt depths uh, to run them. And I'm already CD, CD, I'm in the directory where I need to do this. dbt depths. You can see it's going to boom, import. Now we got the Tuva project over here. Yeehaw. Uh, I think we're going to be good to run it. Um, and. I'm just going to go do one more thing because I'm anal retentive about this. I hate it when dbt builds it and prefixes everything. Prefixes my schema names. Oh, shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's actually copy the file, huh? All right, that's just going to make sure the schema name in Snowflake doesn't look stupid. Now we can just do run dbt seed, and now we're going to build a bunch of stuff. So use the variable that I put in here. This is what tells it to not run any of the models. Um, and so it's just going to load all the terminology and it's loading them into a schema called terminology. And if I go take a look at that, um, boom shakalaka. Let's say, there we 
we go. And now I can use this stuff for analytics. All right, that's it.